In Michigan, five teenagers have been charged in the interstate rock throwing death case. Those teenagers are facing second degree murder charges in the incident that happened last week on Interstate 75. Tuesday, a judge denied bail for the teens due to the nature of the charges. Kenneth White was killed when a piece of concrete thrown from an overpass onto the interstate struck the windshield of the vehicle he was a passenger in. The Jackson Public School District was given an F rating by the Mississippi Department of Education, but there is one elementary school that turned its struggle into a success. Walkers and runners who are going to be coming on down. Matter of fact, I want to show you exactly where the race will begin this morning. Now, of course, we're right in front of Thalumara Hall, but over here, West Street in Pascagoula is where walkers and runners will line up and head down Pascagoula. This is a 5K. Look at this. You see these cars? They're starting to get the premium spots because in a minute the streets are going to be shut down. So you want to make your way out the door right now and join us. There will be thousands of walkers down here. Setup still underway. It's still a little bit early, but at 8 o'clock is when registration happens. Here in the United States, there will be more than 300,000 new cases of breast cancer. 20, more than 2,300 of those will be here in Mississippi. And what we're we're hoping this morning is that every one of those cases will end up in survivorship. That's why we made our way over here to the survivor tent from golf to ghosts and goblins. Yeah, they'll be making their way through the twists and turns of the Jackson Zoo. This is all part of the annual Boo at the Zoo. The fundraiser lets those young and old go through the zoo at night, which can be a little scary because of all the wooded areas. Boo at the Zoo begins tonight at 5. And Mayor King and his wife are scheduled to appear in court December 11th. This morning at the annual Hobnob Mississippi, Ashley Garner joining us live from the Coliseum in downtown Jackson with a preview. Ashley, good morning. President Trump has declared a public health emergency to fight the country's opioid epidemic. Now, this is a problem we've covered extensively here on WLBT. More than 140 Americans die every day from an opioid overdose. This is according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. We'll have more on your first alert forecast. Pretty chilly on this Tuesday. Want to grab a jacket before you head out? Heather will tell you more when we come right back.